today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Brick Loot subscription monthly service. You can head over to www.brickloot.com. You can also follow them over at Facebook and Twitter at Brick Loot. And essentially what it is, is you're getting a box of bricks, building bricks coming to your door every single month. Now I have no idea actually what's inside here. I can only imagine it's uh, pieces. I'm wondering if actually you're gonna get instructions with it too to show you what you can build with those pieces. On the front, Brick Loot. Nice brick theme on the top there as well. And on the side, monthly box filled with loot for the ultimate brick fan. Recommended for ages 6 to 99. If you're 100, you're out of luck. And again on this side, www.brickloot.com. So, let's reach off camera. Spot's excited to see what he's going to get inside here. What wondrous things is Spot going to be able to build? Well, that's only up to whatever brick loot is sent inside and my imagination. Don't wave knives. Let's get Old Red here and cut open this box. See which pieces that we actually get inside for this monthly subscription. On the inside, Kid Invented AFOL approved. Contains small parts, obviously. Not recommended for ages, uh, recommended for children under three. All right, so once again, Spot has absolutely no idea, no idea what, what is inside. So we got ourselves some tissue paper. And uh, just this will get thrown to the side. We got ourselves, what is this? Custom design for brick loot by JK Brickworks. JK Brickworks designs and builds custom models using Lego bricks. To see more of their amazing creations, visit www.jkbrickworks.com. And I guess we can build ourselves this robot. This is the exclusive brick loot build. All right, we'll put that to the side. Get ourselves a, ooh, light up brick, translucent LED color. Let's open this up here. If spot sounds a little off, got myself a cold or the start of a cold. Gonna pull out the little plastic tab here and see how well this lights up. Does it actually snap? Oh, it does snap into place. There we go. A red, a red brick. It looks like it should come apart probably would not want to yes because there's batteries inside but yeah it does light up that's kind of neat hard to kind of turn off and on you gotta get your finger in there but a little light up brick that's really really neat but also got ourselves the brick popper world's fastest lego brick remover he's the patented grip to quick pop brick aparts Rescue all the bricks that were once tossed aside. Works with Lego, Creo, Mega Blocks, and other toy bricks. Recommended for ages six and up. How does this work? Rescue all the bricks that were once tossed aside. The tool that you've been waiting for has finally arrived. The Brick Popper is the revolutionary tool designed to quickly pop apart Lego bricks, uh, Mega Blocks, and other toy bricks that are stuck together. No more screwdrivers, no more butter knives, no more broken fingernails or teeth. I was bad for that when I was younger as well. Uh, with, the bra uh, with the brick popper, you can use the patent groove to pop bricks apart or, or you can use the spoke to pull special bricks off. At this low price, you'll never have to worry about bricks stuck together again. It's very neat. I'm gonna, you know what? Let's open this, let's open this one up as well. Why not? Let's open this up and see what else, see how this works. Okay, so we got the top piece that would be for special bricks, and then you've got a, a hard metal uh, wedge almost at the bottom here. So I guess you put it in and pry it. Pop, doesn't go the weasel, but pop goes the brick. Put that to the side. Also got ourselves AO Sports Brick Loot. Be the first ever to receive this OYO. OYO. Brick loot. Check out your favorite players at oyosports.com. Let's get this opened up as well. 
comes with some pieces. Comes with, there's a card in there as well. I can't seem to get it. Is it stuck? It is stuck. Oh, let's pull it apart. There we go. There we go. Oyo Sports. NFL players, Oyo Sports toys. Visit oyosports.com for all your favorite teams, players, and retail locations. Cast of characters on the back. NFL, NFL superstars collect all 32 superstars. I hope this isn't going to be too involved. No, it's not. It's only a couple pieces. Let's bring the camera down. Why not? Clean off this nice surface. Get that all ready for some brick building. I got a lone hair that didn't come with it. I added that for special effects. Okay, so we got Lego pieces, or I should say Oyo pieces. It's got some arms, which I'm just going to actually bring the arms forward so I can get the the arms actually in there. He's pegged together. I like the look on his face. That's a little fun little character. This, uh, I don't know what that is. I guess that's for his football. His foosball. It also comes with a helmet. Put that on there. I'm really doing this completely out of order. I really should have just actually had it where I put the helmet on last, but I couldn't resist. I had to see this Oyo with his helmet. There he is right there. And uh, what else we got? We got some arms. This is kind of an interesting sight to see because it's not just the hands that you're pegging in, you're also pegging in the arms. So you kind of have shoulders and then you're going to put in bent elbows with arms, at least the forearm end of it. And then from there, you're going to put the hands. Very interesting. I don't know what color this would be, but right now you'd be coloring me intrigued. I feel as if intrigued would also be a blue. If you were to color me intrigued, it would be the color blue. He stands on his brick, little piece there, and he comes with his football. Now, I don't know how, oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. No, maybe I don't. I was gonna say, I don't know what this piece is here for. I'm imagining it's for something to do with this football. Because I mean, in the meantime, you can't have him holding the football. It clips in an interesting enough way. It kind of clips into his hand like that. This, I don't know what this is actually for, this piece right here. Oh, I know what it is. That was so stupid spot. It's actually a bottle of Gatorade or sports performance uh, refreshing, thirst-quenching beverage. That was a very long description. There he is, right there. Oyo. Kind of neat. I like the fact he's blue, too. I dig that. Alright, what else do we got? There's still more in there. Oh, don't don't kid yourself. There is still more in there. We also, we also got ourselves Star Patrol Stronghold Security. And it looks like Oh, it's just the it's just the accessories if you want to if you want to add this to an existing minifigure. Comes with like a little machine gun, comes with a vest, comes with a SWAT helmet, some handcuffs and a knife. That's very cool. Quite a considerable haul, let me just tell you. We also got ourselves the nano block, micro-sized building blocks. Oh, I remember you. I built a a lion out of nano blocks. Very small, intricate pieces. How many pieces does this actually have? Over 480 pieces. This is a level 3. This would definitely be small parts, not for children under 3 years of age. On the back. The P51 Mustang. The biggest little block in the Nanoverse. That is a project. You see this? This is a project. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, we got also some stickers. Some... Brick related stickers. I always love stickers. I'll make use of that. We get ourselves 25% off www.vinylisyourfriend.com. Brick Loot customers this month only. Use the code Brick Loot. Custom wall decor, signs, decals, vinyl graphics. Like Lego Field, Extreme Pain, Keep Off. That's clever. I like that. Uh, 4.5 star rated shop, one to two day ship time, 70 plus color options. Customize any item. Find more at www.vinylisyourfriend.com. 
You could have a sign on the wall that says Jason in the shape of a Lego brick. Caution master builder at work. Everything is awesome. I would also like to include that. Let's get ourselves 40% on Lego books, Lego inspired books, www.nostarch.com forward slash Lego. And then for the month of December, the December subscription box, even though I actually got it in November, on the back, just a breakdown again, we got the exclusive robot, we got a minifigure accessory, a nano block, OYO, uh, and then we've got some vinyls, so I guess this would be not stickers, but vinyls, vinyl pieces that I could put on my wall. Let of, let's, of course, not forget the lifter. We also got ourselves a light brick. This little guy, the OYO, of course, we've already built him. And once again, the robot, which uh, I should actually get around to building as well. Exclusive brick loot build. You know what? While we're at it, let's just build this guy too. Why not? I certainly will not rob you guys of the op of the ability to see this guy being built. Let's get this guy opened up. He is the exclusive after all. Let's take the time. Let's give that it the care it deserves by being created. All the little pieces down below. Comes with some a manual. Manual helps us build. And let's see here. Step one we need. Step one. All right. Gotta bring the camera in. Camera forward. And let's build this guy. So we need this piece here. A little forearm. And I'm guessing this is a bicep piece. This is how the robot bends and picks up his beverage. It's also ratcheted, which I like. Next, we're going to need the three-piece brick. And what else do we need? Oh, we need a two-piece brick. No, that's not it. Two-piece brick. There you go. There it is right there. And we also need a little... Hard to describe it. If I was to describe it to anybody, they would be like, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's what it is. Let's make use of this brick lifter, shall we? Oh, it does actually work. There we go. Take that. I used it in a much smaller of an, of an environment, but still. And we have this piece here. Next, I guess we go back and we revisit these pieces. We're going to give it a hand. And we're going to give it what looks to be a ball joint. I'm thinking, yes, of course, we have to do this twice. Can't have a robot with one arm, one leg, that would be ridiculous. Put another ball socket and a little claw. Where's the claw? There's the claw, put the claw in. Two arms, mission accomplished. Then we're gonna take another leg, find that piece. There's the piece right there, like so. Then we're gonna take we're gonna, I guess, make these into shoes. Very stylish sneakers for the robot. That snaps in a piece like, place like so. This piece goes in like that. And then, where's the other one that we had done? There's the other one that we had done. I feel like a cooking show where it's like, you know, you start the dish and then you put it aside and then you say, and you'll have a finished piece that looks like this. And I always feel like saying, but I, I wanna see you actually finish that piece. Anyways, any who's, put that square piece, the square piece, that's a gray piece. I'm mixing colors and shapes. This, oh, this actually went the wrong way. That goes like that, like so. This goes into place like so, and we need ourselves another ball joint, just like that. And we will also take this piece. He needs shoes, there's one foot complete. We duplicate the same process with this foot. Oops, not peg this out of place, there we go. Where is the other, there it is right there. My work space has diminished considerably. And then we have the ball joint there. So, we got ourselves two legs. And we got ourselves what will be two arms. Then we flip it over to page the other side of the page. And then from there, we're going to take this piece here. 
I don't know what it holds inside. Maybe that's the robot's conscience. These pieces go on the sides, like so. It snaps on the top, and like so. Then we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna take this piece here, a white piece. This, I'm guessing, is gonna be his eyes, because that's his face. Kinda looks like he's got maybe like a robot mustache. Oops, oh no, I just dropped a piece. I just dropped a piece. I dropped a crucial piece too. That's the piece that he needs to see. Remind me, I'll go pick that up. Then from there, what else do we need? I feel like I'm doing this, I'm doing this wrong. I am doing this wrong. You know what I did? I looked at the other side of the instruction manual. Oh boy. The correct side of the instruction manual gives us this piece here. We're gonna add this black piece. And then, then we add, then we add, oh, then we add this piece here. And that allows him to turn his head. Then we put a white, a red piece there. And then we put the eye with a missing eye. Don't worry, Spot will, Spot will fix that. I want that poor robot to have one eye. You think you'll be able to put him to work? You won't. You'll be on disability. You're like I, I, I can't work. I've, I've got one eye. Yeah, but you're a robot. You, it shouldn't matter. Ah, I know, but I've, one eye certainly it puts a damper on me wanting to do much work around here. So now you have a robot with a turning head and one eye. And we're gonna take the, the ball joint. Ball joint snaps in. In, in the most oddest of places, it actually just pegs into his shoulder. That's clever. Actually kind of clever the way they did that. This pegs in, like so. And we got two working arms. Not powered yet. But soon enough I'll give it life. Kind of like Frankenstein's monster. I'll just fire down some electricity and bring it to life. And uh, I guess that's it. Why do we, we have extra pieces? Why do we have extra pieces? What did I do? Oh, okay, this goes on the underside. Because the instructions actually, right there, the instructions show this piece, but it doesn't actually show you that it goes under there. So I'm gonna take that piece, peg it underneath. And just like that, my friends, you've got yourself a completed robot. He's missing an eye. I know he's missing an eye. He is missing an eye. And there is this. What does this piece do? This piece is, oh, is it like a little remote control? I don't see this actually, I don't see this on the instructions. This piece might be his just, it might be just a remote control. We'll give it to him so his human overlords can't control him. He's like, I will never be controlled again. That's what the robot says. I will never be controlled again. We know he'll be controlled unless he can construct an army and rule the world, but <laughs> the chances of that happening are slim to none. You know what, we'll put it inside his chest, just like so. And there you go, my friends. You've got yourself a robot, a jive-talking, music-listening robot. He's got articulation in his arms, in his legs, some nice ball joints in the legs and in the arms. Without the eye, yes, but still a pretty cool looking robot. And that, my friend, is also one of the exclusives, the exclusive Brick Loot build. And I did it myself. Today's collectible spot, look what we actually got. We a substantial subscription box coming over from the folks over at Brick Loot. Got ourselves a plane, some accessories for one of our minifigures, oil, a light up brick, brick lifter, a robot that we built ourselves. He'll stand up there and he'll guard the kingdom. Some sticker vinyl pieces from the folks over at Vinyl Is Your Friend. And we got ourselves an instruction manual to build our robot. His eye is still down there, but a fun little build, certainly to say the least. If you guys are interested in subscribing to Brick Loot and having a box sent to your door every month, 
uh, click the link down below and check out brickloot.com. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Certainly, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time. Oh, and in case you were worried, Spot found the other eye. Robot can see A-OK. -okay. See you next time.